The Quaternion Cube is a puzzle that I discovered on a tangent while working on the Dodot project. It's almost unfair to even call it a puzzle because it's really easy. Every state can be solved in 4 moves or less, and it has exactly 24 possible states. That's a bit more than a 2x2x1 cuboid, and a bit fewer than a Rubik's cheese. You could make the solve a little harder by coloring these triangles. Since they don't add anything interesting from a theoretical standpoint, I made them all the same color. I was pretty obviously inspired by the classic gear cube in designing this, and they look similar despite turning completely differently. One thing that I wasn't initially expecting from a standard gear cube design was that since the bottom corners don't move, all the gear movements get completely blocked by the stationary edges on each turn. To resolve this, I had to add a linear rail to each edge so that they can drop out of the way when the gear above them turns, and then re-engage when they need to rotate. There's a lever mechanism that engages with a groove in the spherical core to help encourage the edge to slide out of the way on its own, which prevents the gears from jamming. There's a cool mathematical object called the Quaternion Group, or Q8, which has broad applications in 3D computer graphics, particle physics, and number theory. Rather than design another difficult puzzle, I wanted to create a way to explore Q8 visually through a geared Rubik's Cube. A 1 to 2 gearing ratio is used so that after any combination of three turns in the same clockwise or counterclockwise direction, the corners are solved, and one of the eight quaternion group states is expressed by the edge pieces. The remaining 16 positions where the corners aren't solved are all part of a larger group called the special linear group 2-3, of which Q8 is a subgroup. The quaternion states can be broken down into a graph, where each point is connected by the puzzle's various corner-preserving sequences. Starting from the solved position, you can perform the sequence left clockwise, right counterclockwise. That produces a four cycle over one set of edges in this S pattern, and a second four cycle over the others. The mirrors and inverses of this sequence can produce four different states. A fifth state can be reached by making the moves left, right, left, and a sixth by their inverse. These produce four cycles over the top and middle edges. From any of these six positions, repeating the same sequence again produces the common inverted state, which is a single state characterized by four exchanged pairs of pieces. These sequences are analogous to the elements of quaternion algebra and demonstrate how the various elements multiply to form cycles. Any two of the sequences can be combined to reach all eight states. Quaternion algebra is also very relevant to the solution of my other recent puzzle, the Dodot M12. In group theory, the quaternion group is called the four-point stabilizer of the Matiu M12 group, which means that on this puzzle, fixing four pieces in place will leave the remaining eight in various quaternion group states. For example, this is the inverted state. These can be arranged into the same graph and solved with a similar set of sequences. Despite its apparent simplicity, I think this puzzle is a good introduction into the complexities of group theory. I uploaded files for 3D printing to a link in the description for anyone who wants to try making it themselves. Thanks for watching.